today we are going to build a heterostructure for this we have two structures first is copper this is a copper unit cell with fcc structure second we have silver even silver is a fcc structure as we can see here uh, as we can see here the lattice parameters for ag is 4.085 while that for copper is 3.581 and when we uh, build a heterostructure there's a possibility of lattice mismatch so to reduce uh, the lattice mismatch or to have a hetero heterostructure heterostructure unit cell what we are going to do is we we need a integer so that the lattice parameter of the heterostructure unit cell would be same for both of them okay we will do this by copying the lattice parameter into an excel sheet here copper silver and as they are cubic structures all the lattice parameters are equal to a so abc and now this is the value for copper and all of this are equal now the we will copy the lattice parameter for silver and here we have it now we need a integer so that the unit lattice parameter for the heterostructure unit cell should be same so for this if we multiply the lattice parameter of copper with 8 that is and if we multiply the lattice parameter of silver with 7 what we get is the lattice parameters are uh, approximately similar that is 28.6 as well as 28.59 which are similar to each other in the c dimensions we are going to have vacuum so i will write here vacuum now as we know the integer values we build the heterostructure in vesta so here we will use this ag sorry or copper we can use any of them we will use copper and then go to edit data phase and then we will import the other phase that is silver here we are now as soon as we click apply we can see they are superimposed over each other so in order to have a heterostructure what we need to do is we need to shift them shift one of them above the other as we, as we have done this we can see here it has been shifted and we have one uh, both structures separated with each other now here we can see we have silver over copper now as we know that there is a difference between the, both the unit cell and this is not a heterostructure this uh, unit cells placed one or one above another for building a heterostructure we need a single unit cell with both the structures one above another so for that what we need to do is first we will uh, expand this by multiplying it with the integers for this go to edit data unit cell and here we will transform we will transform the matrix for copper it would be 8 8 in both a and b dimensions and we won't be touching the c dimension so and similarly for silver we will transform it by 7 and 7 in both dimensions so here what we can see is we can see a very less so the unit cells are well aligned with each other now in order to add vacuum what we need to do is we need to delete the periodicity in a and b dimensions so for that we will delete this because these atoms are similar to the 
atoms that are on the opposite side so and as we are not uh, as we are going to add vacuum to the c dimension we are not going to delete the uh, periodicity in c dimension so here we will save this file as xyz so for that go to file export data here we have copper eg xyz file we'll save this here no now as we open this particular xyz file what we see is we see 678 atoms of copper and eg both we'll copy this whole data or uh, coordinates of all the atoms to an excel file sorry text import wizard now we'll count the number of copper atoms into in this so the total number of copper atoms that we have is 384 so what we have is 678 right total number of atoms is 678 678 minus 384 that is number of silver atoms sorry copper atoms and we have 294 silver atoms so we will use this data to modify our unit cell but before that we will use this eg file or eg structure as a template for this first we will save this as wasp file it's an cif file we will save it as wasp so for this go to edit data export sorry file export data and now here we will say this as wasp cartesian coordinates here we can see we have this our wasp file we have to modify this file in order to generate so here we will write copper number of copper atoms is 384 the number of silver atoms is 294 we will add here copper and we have to replace this cartesian coordinates with the one that we have in excel file here we will delete this column and will have the decimal numbers up to 6 so that the numbers seem to be uniform just that they should look uniform we are using this okay now what we need to do is we need to copy all the data and paste it here Final thing that's remaining is this. That is the lattice parameters that we have or coordinates that we have. We will change this to the one that we have. So for eg, we have multiplied it by seven. So we will multiply it by seven. Seven, and we will use this as our new lattice parameter, both in a and b dimensions. and as we are going to add vacuum in this particular we will add 50 here for the vacuum we will save this file save as cu eg metro metro structure okay so now we will go to file open the hetero file that we have so here we can see our heterostructure with both the layers one above another we can use space filling model to see this so in this way we have created a heterostructure of copper 
sorry, silver over copper with vacuum added to it. We can use this for structural optimization using different uh, softwares. And thus. so thank you for watching this video and also subscribe to watch more such videos. Thank you.